hey guys welcome back to my channel so if you're new here thank you for joining me if you are returning subscriber you're welcome as always if you're new don't forget to subscribe turn on the post notification give me a thumbs up if you like this video share this video and let me know in the comment section what you think about the topic of discussion today now today we are going to look at the worst bl fandoms again according to an ex or a twitter account who did a poll and a lot of people came out to vote and decided that these were the worst BL fandoms. So if you are going to join, if you are new to the BL world and you want to join any fandom, like these are the informations that you should have according to these fandoms. Now at number 10 are the Nara Wins. The Nara Wins are a fandom of Pond and Fuwin and they gathered a whopping 16,000 votes. Now, I don't know of Pond and Fuwin's like fan base. I've never come across them. I've never come across like toxic, their toxicity. But I do know like they have a problem with what, what is this? Like following or stalking their actors their idols so much so i don't know why i don't know if that's the reason they are in the worst bl fandom they come at number 10 but if it's that i do know that so much that they do have that problem so much other than that i've never seen an issue about them but then again they're probably not coming on my fyp because i don't follow pond and fool in that much i did I think last year because i loved never let me go but their projects this year have just an, have just not hit the spot for me so i think that's why their things are not coming on my fyp at number nine are jeff, jeff backward fans and they gathered a whooping eighteen thousand votes now again jeff backward fans like i don't know are they really toxic? Are they the worst fandom in the BL industry? Like, I don't know because I haven't had any runnings with them or I haven't seen actually anything of them, like going crazy. But you guys let me know if you have seen or have had any issues of or any problems with them because jeff is like again i know like fans sometimes are not a representation of their idols but jeff is the sweetest person and backward is also the sweetest person so i don't know i don't know let me know they're hardly into any problems any issue and i think the first issue that jeff has ever dealt with was the issue of his alleged ex-girlfriend or girlfriend and the issue that backward had was him opening a patreon account and people getting upset over it but other than that i've never seen them apologize for anything or try to explain anything now at number eight is zonzons which are Zinui fans and they gathered a whooping 19,000 votes. Now for Z and Nui, like, I don't know, but I do see like sometimes most of their, like their fans go back and forth with shippers. I do see sometimes like their fans go head to head because some people feel, feel like, Z doesn't treat like Nui better and some people feel like like no Nui is like constricted and he's not living to his full potential because he has to carry Z around and that and so forth. Now other than that, I don't know and yeah, and the damaging rumors that always come from like especially some toxic no new fans who always come out with information of z dating any woman that he's seen around with so i guess that's why they get to number eight now at number seven we have bright win fans 
Now bright wing fans are at number what? Number seven with a whooping forty five thousand votes. Now I don't know if they are actually the worst fandom. I don't know. I'm not sure. Again, I haven't had any runnings with them. But I do know like they will move to the ends of the earth to actually either support Bright or Win. Not even caring what any other person will say or do. Like they just don't care. Like even if the whole world says that bright is wrong or win is wrong, like the bright win fans will always come up with receipts or evidence to show that like their artist is on the right and their artist didn't mean to. Like they are the kinds of fans I think I'm going to say this in the nicest way possible that they wouldn't care what you do. You will always be right in their eyes. At number six are the Som Soms, who are, the, who are first cow-like fans. They gathered 48,000 votes. Now, I don't know of any instance of this. I've never seen on my timeline that first cow are being stalked. I've never seen on my timeline, like, anything first cow fans going back and forth with another fan base i don't know maybe they don't come on my fyp because i'm not like heavily into like first cow content so let me know in the comment section now at number five are fox mochis and those are force book fans they gathered a total of fifty one thousand like votes and I don't know. I've never also seen drama from Facebook fans. Again, I'm not heavily like into like Facebook content because as I said before, I thought like they they were amazing in Enchante, but from projects after that, like I didn't feel the chemistry, I didn't feel anything. I felt more of a like friendship bro vibe from them and listening to or finding out and digging more about their like relationship i found out that they had known each other for way long so i don't know if their fans are problematic let me know in the comment section now at number four the sh most shocking one was one jays and i was like one jays are fans of Mew and Gulf, and I was shocked that they were at number four with 55,000 votes. Now, I've said before, like, I feel like the Wanjais are the most toxic fandom. Some of the Wanjais are most, the most toxic fandom in the BL world, and I feel like the GL world also has its own. Now, I feel like they take the crown, but it looks like there are some people who are much worse than the one guys and I wouldn't like to like have an experience with those people because the one guys go back and forth with like the Mew Lions every single day. Like the Mew Lions are fighting them on the timeline. Number three are the Kunos. The Kunos are Gemini and fourth fans. And they gathered a whooping 57,000 votes. Now, right now we do know that like Gemini 4th are the biggest BL show. Not BL show, BL ship in the Thai industry. Like there was a poll that was done and they gathered number one. And I think they were at, uh, is it 100 million? votes or something like that i'm forgetting the specific number but they are number one the top bl shows ship in the thai industry so i guess that number one in 
the best BL ship in the Thai industry and they are also top, top three as the most toxic fandom in the BL industry. Now at number two are the Ronans or Green Red, which I'm shocked they are not at number two. Oh yeah, they're at number two. I expected Duanjai to be number one and them number two. No. Yeah. And they are the Omnanon fans. They gathered a whooping 60,000 volts. Now, we don't even have to say much about the Green Reds. You've seen it. They have pulled the most absurd stance to actually get their way. Like, Green Reds are on a whole other level like the plane feed they're playing on like it amazes every single of one of us every single day last but not least are the bubbles the bubbles gathered 72,000 votes and the bubbles are a fan base of bible and build now build fans are something else I'm just going to say that and leave it at that. And I didn't know specifically. Yeah, but there was some times that they were giving Beyond Cloud a lot of hate because when Beyond Cloud said that Build will no longer be working on four minutes, I think that's the time that I did see like a lot of toxicity from them. And did I ever come across them again? I don't know. But yes, they took number one. And for the ones who, the fandoms that have come after one jays, which are the Kunos, the Ronans, and the Bubbles, if you come, if one jay takes the fourth spot and you guys are the number three spot, like, there is some work you really have to do, like clean up your fandom. Because I thought the Wanjais were the most, like, toxic fandom out there. Again, some. And when these fandoms, disclaimer please, when these fandoms are mentioned here, it doesn't mean that, like, all of you are toxic or are the worst fandom. It just means that like you have a section of people that call themselves the fandoms that you are in that are not just pleasant to be around and people just want nothing to do with them. So yeah. So if you've gotten to the end of this video, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Turn on the post notification. Give me a thumbs up. Share this video. And let me know in the comment section, do you think that this list really deserved, the fandoms that are here really deserved to be here? Do you think that some fandoms were probably on the list, like they were not placed at the right position of the list? And you feel like, the number one isn't actually the number one. There are some people worse than that fandom. Let me know in the comment section. Yeah, bye.